We're joined now by travel editor Chelsea Dickinson, who is optimistic we'll see options for home and abroad for the summer, along with travel expert and journalist Simon Calder, who says as long as you book a package deal, you won't lose out financially. And Mike Gooley, his company specialises in tailor-made holidays and predicts that when the pandemic ends, prices will be jacked up by airlines. Well, Chelsea, I mean, let's start with you first. I mean, yeah, you're up optimistic as to whether uh, summer travel will be possible, aren't you? I, I absolutely am. And I think the great news that we've heard today about the stats, all this is going to be feeding into this roadmap that we're all waiting for and hoping that there'll be some good news on the horizon for travel. But I think as far as UK travel, and I don't know about you, I watched that VT and I thought, that looks great. I could take a bit of that right now. I think UK travel is just going to be booming this summer. There's going to be a lot of options available. Uh, and also, it looks like that is going to be a possibility and probably a safer place place to put your money in terms of getting away in the summer months. Mike, coming to you, I mean, uh, your business must have been hit massively hard by what has happened. I imagine you're keen to get things going again, but people will be cautious, won't they, about booking, about, you know, what happens if there are more restrictions put in place? Can I get to the place where I want to get to? Will I need a test? Will I need to quarantine on the way back? There are a lot of considerations at the moment, aren't there? Yes, I think there's a lot of misunderstandings as well, not helped by mixed messages from the government. Um, I like me to, I can't give you a prediction on who's going to win uh, the next Grand National, but I can tell you that if you don't put a bet on, you can't possibly win. And if the race doesn't take place, you'll get your money back. Travel operates by law in the same manner. Whenever we're unable to deliver an arrangement that's been booked, it's due a, f a full and immediate uh, refund. We've had a lot of practice, of course, over the years with tsunamis and ash clouds and terror and strikes and snowbound airports. Uh, Covid is no different. It's treated in just the same way. The rules of the package travel regulations are very clear. If we can't deliver what's booked, then it's an immediate and full refund. So I don't understand why too many people are not putting something in their diary to look forward to. Um, I think we all realise that part of a holiday, the fun of it, part of it is the anticipation. Yeah, the looking forward to it. When you say about Does the mixed that, uh, messages there, help? sorry, I just wanted to pick up on the mixed messages um, because, you know, you talk there about what the government is saying about it because it's illegal to travel at the moment, but it's not illegal to book. But there had been suggestions, hadn't there, that people were saying actually it's illegal to book something, which it's important to clear up. Well, that is total twaddle. Um, it's com totally and utterly erroneous. It was obviously a gaffe. What um, Grant Shapps meant to say, that it's illegal, except in exceptional circumstances, to travel at the moment. Uh, but he somehow or other gave the impression that it was illegal to book. Of course it isn't. Uh, you're perfectly free um, to, to plan and discuss and look forward to your... Uh, and get the bookings in place. And there's some very good reasons to do it, because as restrictions ease, which they will, we're not going to spend the rest of our uh, uh, humankind not travelling, uh, there will be an absolute uh, stampede. There will be such pent-up demand. And the aviation in particular cannot recover overnight. There's going to be a gross shortage of seats, not just because aircraft have been mothballed, but because the crews uh, are, are no longer qualified to fly them because they haven't done the requisite hours. So you'll have airlines with an aircraft that can take um, 400 passengers, and there's 1,200 want to buy a seat on it. Therefore, we, we can't... Uh, the, the airlines will jack up the prices, uh, and uh, you can understand that, given the very torrid time they've had. Uh, availability, in other words, is going to be an issue. So that's another reason. If you book something with us now, at this point in time, uh, four months, eight months, uh, a year, even uh, nearly two years from now, we contract a certain price with you and we reserve that seat. And whatever happens, that price will not increase. So that's a very good reason. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we have to have a, li a little bit more optimism. I'm very hopeful that the um, vaccine um, uh, passport, they want to call it, the vaccine certificate, it's not entirely new, 
uh, we still have yellow fever certificates. I can remember when there were quite a few health certificates you had to produce uh, travelling to a country. The other thing I'd like to see is that uh, an exemption from uh, quarantine for anybody returning who, who is immunised, why on earth would they need to quarantine for 10 days? Uh, the, the, it has been bandied about that, of course, that the, that the immunisation doesn't guarantee that you, 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 you are, you're not transmitting, that you're not. However, there is, a, uh, as far as I know, there's not a single case yet. Uh, and you can be sure if there's one case of somebody immunised transmitting, uh, we'll know about it very soon. So why not embrace this wonderful opportunity to, to get back to... Um, normality, or as I prefer to call it, peacetime. Uh, well, uh, it, it seems like there's a, a bit of optimism around at the moment. Virgin Atlantic CEO has said uh, he thinks that there's going to be favourable conditions for uh, travel by the summer. I mean, Simon Calder, uh, if we could bring you in, uh, do, do you think we'll be flying uh, by the summer? I mean, that's it's quite oh, a isn't it? I'm absolutely conf confident that we will, but let's bear in mind a few things if you don't mind. First of all, this week we have seen the toughest rules ever for people arriving to the UK brought in, including hotel quarantine from those red list countries. Um, anybody just coming in from anywhere else is still going to have to self-isolate at home for uh, 10 days. They're going to have to have uh, three tests, one before departure, two on arrival. These are simply not conditions that anybody can live with when they're going on holiday. Um, so you might want to be thinking, first of all, about a UK holiday, because at least you won't have that much uh, complication. Although, of course, as you've reported this week, the Scottish First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, warned that um, holidays even at Easter may not be possible. Just please be really careful about how you book. Um, because, yes, Mike is absolutely right. If your holiday doesn't go ahead, you are entitled to a full refund, but as millions of people have found, you don't automatically get that, particularly if you booked online through a, uh, an agent you don't really know or if you've um, arranged something yourself. So please book a proper package holiday through an actual real human travel agent or indeed go to one of the fantastic uh, UK companies that are offering money back, not only if the holiday doesn't go ahead, but also if you change your mind, if you're not feeling like it. So there are plenty of things you can Simon, do. And looking ahead, I'm... I'm... Simon, what's the, what's the best way to book a holiday at a fair price? Because we, we're hearing about, you know, prices rocketing as we head yeah. through the next couple of months, and that will inevitably price some people out of having that summer holiday. Oh, oh, yes, absolutely right, Alex. You are going to see, I mean, the biggest holiday company, TUI, has already said we're going to offer 80% of the holidays we did last year and the average selling price so far is 20% higher. So I'm afraid, everybody, you're going to have to expect less choice and higher prices. But don't worry about them all selling out. There's lots of people who are thinking, I'd love to look forward to a holiday, but I really can't afford to stump up hundreds of pounds for something which might not happen. I think you'll be all right. I heard on the radio this week a travel agent say, quick, book your 2022 holiday now because the deals are running out. That is complete tosh. There will be enough holidays to go around. Yes, there's going to be peak time in in August when it might get a bit tricky. I've already looked ahead to next, at least a year from now, OK? Half term, going skiing, Gatwick, Geneva, um, easy jet, over a £1,000 return oh. for a sort of one hour flight. So there are some high prices, but there'll be some low prices too. And so just kind of hope for the best, be prepared for disappointment. But um, certainly, I agree, if you want something to look forward to, book a good holiday in the UK or abroad, just make sure you know what the cancellation conditions are. Yeah, it's a good point. And just a quick word from you, Chelsea, to end this, because, you know, actually a lot of people getting in touch this morning are saying they are having holidays that they've had to move from last year. So, actually, there are those people who are then rebooking a holiday that they didn't get to go on, but they're also realistic about the fact, like Simon was saying there, you just might have to think, well, uh, hopefully I can go, but I might not be able to. It's absolutely what Simon was saying in that there is a lot of this kind of rhetoric out there about 
be quick. Things are going to run out. There might be a holiday shortage. But my top tips are, uh, yes, you might see that in peak times and peak tourist destinations. So get thinking outside the box a little bit. If the place that you normally book is all full up, think about moving 10 miles to the side on a map. Where's that? Where are the places that are less known? Where are the counties that less people are traditionally booking? Like your Bedfordshire's, your Hertfordshire's. We are so lucky here in the UK that we've got such stunning countryside and beautiful coastlines. There is so much to go and see. And I also think it's worth thinking about the alternatives as well. Things like home swapping is a fantastic thing to be looking into. If there's a shortage of homes, why not swap your home with someone else? Um, one thing that I'm really excited about is the great outdoors. I'm going to be looking into booking a camper van so that I can keep myself to myself, keep safe, but also travel and explore this absolutely beautiful country that we have. Oh, some good tips there. Okay, Chelsea Dickinson, thank you. Thanks also to Simon Calder and Mike Gawley. We appreciate you joining our travel. Travel panel this morning.